Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you back to the Parsons Bench Workshop. It has been way too long since I have made a video. It's actually been way too long since I've been out in the shop. I've not been out here probably in two or three months at least. I have way too many hobbies. I'm a cyclist from way back. I also got into amateur astronomy. Of course, being out here, the woodworking, that's, that, that's one of my hobbies. But one that we used to do uh, when our kids were growing up, we had a sailboat, and we loved it. But my wife and I have been wanting a boat. So for the last year and a half, we've been looking. Uh, we can find a boat, can't find a marina slip. Uh, we're on eastern North Carolina, and we want a boat down on the coast that we can go weekend on. But slips are hard to come by. Well, recently we came across a boat, a little smaller than we wanted, uh, and we could get the slip with it. Uh, it's a Catalina 25, and so uh, we're quite excited. So that's taken up some of my time. But it's also going to provide some opportunities, one, to get me back in the shop, and some opportunity. There are some things we want to do. The dark, the boat has a very dark interior. The wood, uh, the teak, and some other wood is very dark. So I, there's things I want to do. I want to use a lighter wood, probably ash is what I want to try. I think that light wood will lighten it up in there and I think it will contrast because I'll never match what's on there. So today we're going to do a little project and this isn't about upgrading the boat. This is just about personalizing it. That's one of the things my wife and I have talked about is with this boat we don't want just a fiberglass shell that we go to but we want to personalize it, make it our space. So we're going to do, uh, I want to do a little project. We'll get it started today, and it's an anchor with a rope wrapped around it, and on the backer board, there's a, like a sailor and a sailboat and a dolphin. So I'll do the backer board out of ash, because that will, I think, contrast well with the darker wood on the boat. But the anchor, which is the, the focal point of this, uh, I'm going to do out of African mahogany. So it'll contrast with the uh, backer board. Hopefully it won't clash with the, the back. I'm going to have to resaw my ash and glue up a panel. That's why this is going to be a couple of days project. So anyway, I hope that you'll enjoy this. Another scroll saw project mainly. So uh, but come along and uh, join me in making it, and I'll show you pictures once we get it hung up in the boat. Okay, so I've resawed the board to make the back of board and I have it clamped to my workbench to help keep it from warping and then uh, tomorrow I will glue that up in a panel so it'll be a day or so before I can work on that. I've got the um, the main piece though uh, glued to the board and uh, the pattern glued to the board and I've got all my starter holes drilled. All right, we are using a Pegasus Modified Geometry Reverse Tooth number three blade. We're going to start by cutting the small pieces uh, that make up the interior of the rope. And then we'll go to the larger cuts and then we'll do uh, around the outside. All right, we got the rope cut out. And uh, so now we're gonna change blades and uh, we'll start working on uh, some of the larger cuts. Uh, I thought I was making my cutting easier and what I did is I took away the support so when I was cutting that piece it broke. Uh, it'll be in our boat. Not many people will see it. I'll live with it. My wife won't notice. Every time I look at it I will. Uh, 
All right, that took just under an hour to cut. So I think now we'll get a new blade and then we can cut around it and this part will be done. All right. All right, so now the fun part is to peel the pattern off without breaking it and then do some sanding. Got a lot of fuzzies, particularly on the back. Got to get those off and then there's some areas. I, I don't do well cutting circles like that. So we've got to try to make that look a little bit better. Anyway, but we're getting closer. I certainly have removed patterns from smaller and more fragile things, but when there's a lot of smaller pieces and I'm uncertain, and one thing you can do, uh, and this is why I tape it, the tape comes off pretty easy, but you can use a heat gun and heat it up and then the, uh, that tape, the, the adhesive gets loosened and it'll pull off a little easier. Not too bad. Let's go see if we can clean up some of the fuzzies and do some sanding in some areas that uh, yeah, that I'm not real happy with. Okay, we got a flapper sander in my drill press. And this is really only to take off the fuzzies. This isn't to do any kind of shaping or real smoothing other than maybe a little bit on the edges, but mainly try to get rid of the fuzzies. And I use a backer board um, when there's a lot of kind of smaller stuff uh, to kind of brace it. Then you just go gentle with it. All right, not too bad. Now we're going to get uh, some small files and we'll sit down and just take our time and work on it. All right, so this isn't so bad. So tomorrow we'll glue up the back panel, which is, I believe, ash. This is, I think, African mahogany. And uh, so we'll glue up the panel tomorrow I usually let that sit overnight, so hopefully then the next day I can um, cut it down to size. And there's three things, there's three figures in it to be cut out pretty straightforward. And then we can see about gluing this up together. Okay, it's been more than a day or two. It's been about a week or so. Uh, things have just been kind of crazy and true to southeastern North Carolina weather winters come woke up this morning it's 32 degrees so uh, today now we're in a hoodie and got the heat going so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna trim this board down uh, on my table saw so that we don't have so much we're trying to deal with and then I'll get it taped up and the pattern applied and then I'll see you back over at the scroll saw all right, let's get to cutting. Uh, we just got kind of three figures we need to cut out. Now let's move on and uh, we'll start cutting out uh, the sails in the sailboat. One of the things I love, being out here in the shop by myself, got the saw going, I could hear out of the, my ear, something moving. I can't find what it is. I did a quick look. I hope it's nothing that's gonna try to get me.
But we got what, for me at least, is one of the hardest cuts, and that's to cut this out, the, the whole thing out. It's just an oval, so it's really not the hardest, but I think after cutting all this, although that's not a whole lot, this is where I get more nervous. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna take it to the flapper sander and try to get off some of the fuzzies around these inside cuts and then uh, I'll take it to my um, rigid um, belt spindle sander and uh, go around the edges and just kind of smooth that up. Um, well, I think it'll be all right. I think I got this where I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna do some sanding on it. But we'll get this sanded and then we'll be ready to attach uh, the rope and anchor to it. And then what we'll do is we'll take it to the boat. And I'll do the kind of the reveal uh, when I go to, to the boat and uh, hang it up there. So, Okay, so I put several coats of a clear finish on this uh, piece. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, just a little bit of uh, kind of personalization here in our cabin. I attached it with Velcro. I think there's four kind of Velcro pieces on it. Uh, so we're going to see how it, it does. I, I know being in a marine environment, um, it's going to be susceptible to moisture and whatnot. But uh, like I said, I put more coats of that clear coat on than normal. So anyway, I like it. I think it uh, came out good. I think it's also a nice little addition to our boat, our, our little home, uh, you know, away from home where we can uh, get away from everything. Well, look, I hope that you've enjoyed this build. I hope it will inspire you to get out in your shop and make some sawdust, do something for your house or whatever other hobbies you may have. Uh, but enjoy it, and uh, I hope to see you uh, in the next video.